Hey there everyone, it is me, Katie Hime, here to bring you a speed paint video of our boy, Arthur, from my, uh, animatic video, We Need to Talk. This is just a little stress reliever drawing, I would say. <laughs> I've been really wanting to draw something for We Need to Talk and, like, have it, like, colored and pretty for a long time. I just haven't had the time, like most adults do. I also wanted to do this whole voiceover thing. I wanted to give it a try and also just point out a few things that are like a little bit weird <laughs> about this. As you might have already noticed, my cursor isn't exactly like drawing where the lines appear. I think that may have had something to do with how I calibrated my recorder with my XP pen monitor tablet, which I got from T. So. I mean, that's whatever. I just didn't try hard enough. I just wanted to start drawing and record and kind of get this out there. So it's not the best. It's not as polished, I guess you would say, as my previous speed paints. But I'm doing what I can, and I think that's all that matters. <laughs> Another thing you're going to notice, probably, is that it's cropped at a weird um, ratio. And that's because, again, I just wanted to get this going and get this out on the internet <laughs> so I didn't take the time to correctly measure the dimensions of my XP pen or like the size of the window for recording so there was like a weird black border where you could see all these like weird glitches and stuff I guess I don't know that's like the best way I can describe it but it was really weird and not fun to look at and we just want to focus on our boy right here so <laughs> let's do that Another thing you'll notice when we get to the coloring portion is that my colors are not my usual bright, overly saturated, uh, Katie colorings. <laughs> Dull and ugly, to say the least, and that's another, that's another thing that has to do with the, um, XP pen monitor tablet. Kind of like all different screens and monitors and stuff, they all, um, what is it, they just like project. <laughs> Do they project? No. They just show color differently, I guess, is the easiest way to say it. It is four in the morning, I apologize. <laughs> so the XP pen, um, when I was drawing this, the colors look great, they look wonderful, but when I bring it up to my laptop monitor, um, they look horrible. <laughs> and I'm assuming they don't look great on whatever device you're watching this from either. But don't worry, I like <laughs> I always edit the colors now. That's why maybe my coloring doesn't seem the same as it was like back before I started using the XP pen. It's because I have to manually edit and like go through. It's kind of annoying, but I'm just kind of, you know, dealing with it. It's whatever. I know T at one point had like uh, tried to fix the settings so, um, so they would match his monitor better, but I don't know if that really translated onto how my monitor like shows color. Everyone's monitors are different and that's fine. <laughs> so those were just the things that I just wanted to like throw out there so y'all aren't like, what the fuck is Katie doing? <laughs> why, why doesn't she know how to fucking draw or color or do anything? That's why. Because I didn't try. <laughs> Another thing you might be noticing is that I'm not using paint tool side this time. I'm using fire alpaca and it is great. This video obviously isn't sponsored or anything, I just really wanted to try out fire alpaca. Um, a lot of speed paint videos and like artists, like other artists I know, they use fire alpaca and they make really cool art and so I wanted to give it a shot too. I think I was mainly interested in the like, um, patterned brushes and stuff like that. Um, the only thing I don't like about it so far, from what I have tested and whatnot, is that I'm not able to blend with a watercolor brush on a different layer and like make it look nice and blended, you know? Like it just looks like another layer, <laughs> basically. And I've learned, or so I've heard, that you can't blend with a watercolor brush like blend colors for like shading or whatever unless it's on the same layer as the one you're trying to blend it with. And I'm one of those bitches that uses the multiply layer for shading, so that doesn't work for me. <laughs> so I just go back into Psy later sometimes and just 
fix it up a little, you know? <laughs> just clean it up. But in this particular drawing, I did not. I just kind of wanted to do something quick. This was supposed to be a warm-up drawing originally, and then I just kind of went all out, I guess, but not really. Like, this is really casual coloring and whatnot. But I just needed a little stress reliever, because the adult life, my, my dudes, is really tough, and you don't have time for anything but work and sleeping. And, and that's how it is. Unless you're in, like, college or university or whatever, then I guess you have time for that. But that's besides the point. I really wanted to make a colored image for We Need to Talk for a long time. Probably before I even, like, released the video. <laughs> and I had the idea for a while of coloring and, like, making the video look really pretty and, like, finalizing it, I guess, in a sense. But it seemed like a really daunting task. And T suggested that I just like take a couple screenshots that I really like and color them and like see how I feel going from there, but that also sounds like a lot of work. And I also just kind of wanted to make a new thing for it so I wasn't just like recycling some old art from February. <laughs> I also have just like a lot of ideas that I want to do and not a lot of time to do them and it really sucks. I have like a lot of ideas and they're not all just like art related. I mean there are like drawings I have in mind. I have animatics, actual like videos that I want to not animate but like put together like edit and whatnot and I also have like some maybe makeup videos that I want to do or like review videos it all depends on how like life treats me <laughs> those are the things I want to start doing um, I'm trying to figure out a nice balance between work and hobbies right now slash side things so if anyone has cracked that code yet, please let me know because I'm struggling super hard on trying to find that balance because I would love to be pumping out more videos more frequently, not like once every like eight months. <laughs> that That's just how it is right now until I can find that balance. Maybe I could do, I could shoot for like a video once a month and then like I can start building from there, but we will see how this all pan pans out. <laughs> What do people even talk about in these videos? I guess their videos usually have like a theme or something to them, right? What is my theme for this video? Is my theme adulthood? <laughs> Let's just briefly talk about we need to talk. I just want to thank everyone, I guess, for all the love and support on that video. It means a lot and I know that gets really boring to hear from like all these people on the internet, they're like, oh man, thank you so much, you mean so much, it means the world to me. But I'm one, <laughs> I'm one of those people that really means it. And especially the ones that were like, oh man, like this, like this is your first animatic, it looks so professional. I'm like, what? And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, are you serious? Because I don't know whether compliments are real or if it's sarcasm. But I believe that y'all were being genuine, or at least I hope you were. So thank you for that. And um, again, I'm, I apologize for my horrendous storytelling and how like basic it is. And like, you know, it's like the go-to thing is like, obviously it's a breakup song or like a heartbreak song or whatever, but damn if I don't love me some good angst with my boys. <laughs> and you will see more of that in the future, hopefully. That is my plan. <laughs> more heartbreak. Will Alfred ever be happy? M maybe. <laughs> I can't give a definite answer on that, but I just, I really like angst, guys. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I never really asked this before, I guess, but like, what was your favorite part of the We Need to Talk video, I guess? Like, was there a particular frame that you really liked? Like, a particular image? Because my favorite part whenever I'd watch it back was always the, the second chorus with the with them in the field or whatever, like that was always my favorite. <laughs> That's the one that always like got me right in the feels as they say. <laughs> so I just wanna know your favorite moment or like frame, whatever. Or just like, ooh, you know what else you could do in the comments down below? Tries to think of something even though I thought I had something. <laughs> Tell me what kind of like animatics or like just like PV videos and stuff that you would like to see like in the future like would you like to see something more like fantasy more like kind of like the real world like AUs like what do you want to see do you want to see different fandoms like I'm just genuinely curious <laughs> but yeah you know I'm just I'm just curious anyway we have reached 
the end of this video now, so um, here's the final image. I hope you enjoy. Again, I'm sorry for the weird offsetting <laughs> of this whole speed paint. It's all really weird, and I'm really rusty at this, but please bear with me. I'm doing my best. I will be posting this image for like your your retweets and your reblogs and whatever on my art Twitter, my art Tumblr, and on my Instagram. Here are the social media that you can find me on and also this image. And I hope to see you guys real soon in my next video.